the story goes that I was down by the trash can in the middle of the commons and a car pulled in. They heard a loud smack, my friends up at the top of the commons, so they went down there to see if I had been hit by a car. Um, when they found me, I had just ran into the garbage can and had started like convulsing and making weird animal noises. Um, at that point they realized something was off, so they started to try to calm me down, and it was at that point that my heart stopped beating and I was dead. Instantly, they started doing CPR and calling 911, but uh, the 911 operator refused to send an ambulance because they didn't believe that it wasn't a prank. Um, so they said that we needed someone who was above the age of 18 to call 911 in order for there to be an ambulance. Um, so we call my friend's mother, and she comes, and she calls an ambulance, and while that's happening, uh, I'm having CPR done on me the entire time. It takes about 10 minutes for the ambulance to get there from the point of when I died. And at that point, they started trying to resuscitate me. Not really sure exactly how long it took. Um, life flighted to Bangor and after I was brought back to life I had a seizure for an hour and uh, they gave me the medication to stop the seizure four times it just did not work and uh, woke up two days later in the hospital a lot of pain The drug that it ended up being was uh, a designer drug uh, called 25 N bomb, which actually is fully legal and you can buy it online. Um, LSD, which is a felony, is illegal. Yeah. Would have been a lot better if I'd taken it that night. Um, LSD and magic mushrooms, they'll freak you out, but they won't kill you. These drugs that people are buying legally off the internet and uh, they, it's just, it will literally kill people, and it has literally killed people. The night that I died, another guy did die. Like, he is gone now forever from the same type of drugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right in Belfast, too. A lot of times in the last couple of years, I've struggled with whether or not I'm actually dead. I've, it's, it's fucked with my head a lot. Um, dying can really give you some psychological trauma. Um, not only that, but the physical effects of being dead for 10 minutes. Uh, once I went back to school the following year, I wasn't the same academically. Um, I fucking, you know, I'd be looking at words on a piece of paper and they'd just start fucking jumbling and switching over and the letters would all swap. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that never happened before I died. Um, yep. Yeah. So it's uh, changed my physical well-being and um, my emotional well-being very much. 911 gets a call and they so they hang up. Someone calls 911 and hangs up. The police will go to where that phone call was taken from. Like, that's what they do. I was dead in the middle of the Belfast Park and they didn't send an ambulance. Yeah. Um, I'd very much like to see someone be held accountable for not sending an ambulance, whether it's just the way the rules are written and someone predetermined that was how that night was going to go, I would like that person to be held accountable, or if it was just that someone got the phone call and didn't believe it, I would like that person held accountable, because I, I could be dead right now. I probably should be dead right now. I was dead for a very extended period of time, and uh, they did not help the situation.